All right, so today we're gonna put carpet in. And then maybe some baseboard, hopefully baseboard. And then we'll call your brother's room finished and then mom gets to decorate it. Once daddy finishes the picture frames. Yeah. I get that. All right. I get Careful. That. Oh, I, get oh. <laughs> I get that. You got it? Get that. Alright. Oh dear. So I took the new carpet, the piece of plastic, and an old carpet, and the old carpet, so it didn't have the two rubbing up on each other, because the old carpet's disgusting. So now, I'm definitely not a flooring guy or a carpet guy at all. So I'm gonna cut this out here and then drag it in. And it should fit, I hope. Let's give it a shot. Really well. it actually, we, we picked this color. It ha helps tie in the yeah, good. Low, lighter colored walls and it goes well with the gray wall. And, and it was cheap. Yeah. yeah. The carpet cutting seemed to work. So sweet. But now we gotta stretch it. I have my friend. Do you got that? Is that your friend, Mr. Tripod? Mine. Yeah. Uh -huh. We need to get you some friends. This is my friends. Yeah? Your friend got three legs? Got three legs. <laughs> Hey. My on. Oh, you got your slipper on. I can't find your slipper on. You can't find your other slipper? Yeah. Where is it? Let's go. Okay, bye. Bye. I'm gonna work on baseboard and millwork. First thing, we gotta get some tools set up outside, do a little bit of painting, cut it up and bring it in and nail it up. Let's see how it goes. So I kind of do this a little different. Um, we'll, uh, we'll paint this first, cut it, and then put it in.
actually have an issue with this one. I don't have a piece long enough to make this work. That's no problem. Let me, uh, let me show you what we do to make this happen. First thing I'll do is, because I know I want it to be uh, 45 in the corner against the closet, so I'll cut that. Then, I'm gonna cut a 30 degree angle. And then cut that. Alrighty, let's take this inside and uh, then we'll measure it. So I'll stuff that 45 in the corner and then I'll measure my into my corner to my uh, long point here. I got my 30 degree end here, 45 into the wall. Let's give it a shot. Nice, not bad. The nice part about the 30 is it's not a straight cut because it's going straight to straight and maybe they're cut unsquare. This just works out a lot better. Put some caulking in there and you'll never even know. Time to nail it up. What? Daddy, you want to wash my windows. You want to what? I want to wash my windows. Who? My windows. You want to watch what? Burritos. Burritos? No. Huh? BBs. What do you want to watch? What BBs? BBs? Oh yeah? Yeah. Well he's in mommy's belly. One more step before we can totally call it finished. Okay, maybe two more steps. Cocking and speckle. But we'll start with the cocking first. Here's that uh, 30 degree cut that we did. Let's see if we can make it disappear. Put some paint on it, I think it'll look good. All right, for this tip, um, where I had my spackle area, which you can't even find it, there it is. I will um, put a knife under there, a um, budding knife, and then paint it. 
just about maybe six inches on either side to cover up my sanding marks. And smooth it out really nice, and that's that. You could also use an old cereal box or something, some sort of thin cardboard that'll get under there. But if you have a mudding knife, they are pretty handy for this. place we made with 30. Alrighty, so let's set this window sill. I'm gonna kind of do something a little different, maybe a little rustic, something neat to look at. 36 and 13 sixteenths. And then I want it to overhang an inch and a half on each side, so I'll add uh, three inches. Let's go outside and pick out some lumber and make this guy. Before we do that, we should know how wide it is, too. Two and a half. I have an inch overhang, so I'll make it three and a half. What do you think, Olivia? Three and a half? Eh. Are you blowing in your nose? Good job. Um... Alright, let's give it a try, see how it fits. Oh. Never works like that. First time, it's actually a little short. It's all good. Hey, let me get it started. Let's go out. Yeah, we gotta get it started. All right, twist. Okay, good. Hang on, let me get it started. All right, go ahead. No, this way, towards you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Good thing these are tamper resistant plugs. Alrighty. What do you think? Good. We finished your brother's room? High five? Yeah.